That's good. Get some tin snips and so this is what uh oh <laughs> this is what held up delivery for so long and so these were probably put in a box yesterday so just let me see this just to point out this is how the box is it's like 70 pounds 80 pounds got to be careful make sure that uh, you don't drop this here's some critical parts this has like no protection on it you can already see that the foam is being cut same thing here here's either a power or data cable and it's already pinched so if it's going through like a a long shipping this only came what 20 miles from conroe mm -hmm. very little and it's already wearing a hole in the box that's gonna get cut pretty quick i think hopefully it doesn't but it'd, it'd be a shame if it did all right uh i'll go ahead and pick this up and get it in the garage All right, so here's all the boxes uh, unboxed. Here's the feet, the tray, the walls, the spindle head. So we've got the electronics enclosure, um, Y axis rail mount, X axis rail mount. Linear rails, ball screws, and a second Y-axis rail. I, I'm not sure why one is in the cardboard box and the other is in bubble wrap. It's only one of two things that's in bubble wrap. The other thing's over there. Uh, Y-axis carriage, Y-axis carriage, fly cutter, the mod vise, uh, computer stand attachment, cables, control kit, miscellaneous parts, leveling foot kit, toe clamp kit, Enclosure hardware. This one's just labeled hardware. Uh, here's my shims and my vice clamp set. Here's, uh, I think these are for the door. Here's the touch screen and the uh, relay for the flood coolant. Right there. Um, oh, and then I've got, <clears throat> here's all the this is the plastic for the door. This was actually outside the box. They didn't package it with the original crate. Here we go. Uh, here is uh, my two uh, platforms for the bed. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. Okay. These are the anchors that go into the concrete to stiffen it all up. I'm not sure what this is for. These set the bases in the concrete. And then this is my uh, check gauge to make sure that it's uh, parallel. All right, I just found this rolling around on the floor. I mopped yesterday. I think I would have seen this. I'm not sure what this goes to. Uh, so I'm going to put this aside just in case it belongs to something. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little unnerving. Okay, uh, question, where is all the flood coolant and my touch probe? The answer is, at least it should be, in here. Here's a whole lot of more, whole lot more boxes. 
Uh, so we've got the flood coolant hardware. Uh, my synthetic coolant, my touch probe, tool setter. What does this say? Use this length of hose for the right rear drain line. Got it. I'll forget that. Here's more drain line. One piece of packaging. The epoxy kit. Uh, MR1 hanger. Okay. What is this? The coolant pump. And I think this is the uh, drain lines that connect the uh, for the bin. And here's the bin. And here's the bin. 